Queensland, Bob Port's Port of Mackay. Celebrating 80 years of operation in 2019. Our gateway to the world, driven by passion, vision and strength. The growing rural economy and population of Mackay urgently required an alternative to the Pioneer River for larger sea vessels. As it, everything grew and the need came to, uh, to move towards more bulk export, and Mackay was growing rapidly too, so the decision was made to make a man-made harbour in Mackay, basically for the sugar industry. The community and the Port Authority of the time um, borrowed 1.2 a million pounds to actually build the port. A huge crowd turned out for the opening of the completed harbour on August 26, 1939, welcoming the Sydney Star. There were thousands of people actually turn up uh, at the port. Uh, the Premier of Queensland actually was ferried on the first vessel. Of course, William Forgan Smith, the member for Mackay, was, uh, was Premier at the time. So the money was there and, and to, uh, to open the Mackay Harbour and of course the rest is history. It has become a, an icon institution in Mackay. Hasn't our port grown up over the last 80 years? It started from that small port in the Pioneer River and now we have this international standard port. This is just so fantastic for our local region. Well, it's changed Mackay from the 1930s when it was just a beach out there and became a, 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 a harbour of very, very strategic significance for the Queensland coast. 1957 saw the second berth built. It was a sugar berth. It had also the largest uh, sugar shed uh, in Australia and uh, it followed up in the 80s uh, with the corp silos that we can see uh, today standing proud in, in the Port of Mackay. We've seen our local port support our sugar industry and it's the second largest um, exporting port for our sugar industry. It is just fantastic. Today, the port continues to connect our region to Australia and the world supporting over 3,000 jobs with commodities worth over $1.5 billion each year. And more recently, as the community could enjoy, is the, the roll-on, roll-off trade with these very large vessels that come from overseas with mining equipment and agricultural equipment. For a port to be very successful, it needs to have the right balance between the port users that want to see the trade moving through the port. We need a port that's available 24-7. We need also a very strong connection to the community. Those of us lucky enough to grow up in Mackay, we have such fun memories of Mulheron Park. And it's great to see that we still got Fred Flintstone in the shoe and the crocodile is still out there. It is so unique to our port to be able to have a breakwater that you can drive on. You don't have that experience anywhere else across Queensland. I think the harbour is instrumental to our growth. It's instrumental to how we are as a regional economy. They they contribute so much to the regional GDP and will do in the future. I think we've got to work with the North Queensland Bulk Ports Authority to ensure that the harbour is able to grow. We also need to continue to focus and invest on Mackay uh, so that the port remains competitive and remains a, a key certainty for the supply chain uh, of our port users. So the harbour has been, is and always will be a very, very important uh, asset to the Mackay region. Port of Mackay, 80 years in our community.